Hello today's video we have the following content. I thought it was a bad drama, but I couldn't stop watching it. This drama has a flavor of old-fashioned melodrama. When I first heard about the drama Liu Guangyin, I didn't have high expectations. After all, the label of ancient costume fantasy love drama sounds a bit like those old-fashioned melodramas with full-screen special effects and old-fashioned plots. But who knows, I can't stop watching it at all. The drama is led by Zhang Han and Zhu Zudin, and the supporting cast is also quite good. Yao Qi, Hai Ling and others are all powerful. The story is adapted from Mao Ziaomeo's novel Poisonous Pet Mercenary Princess, which sounds quite exciting. The plot revolves around the fate of Han Ziking, the concubine of the Xiang Fu, and Jun Biao, the god of war and Xianming. The two met by chance and faced all kinds of hardships together, which really makes people unable to stop. Speaking of it, the character of Han Ziking really made people feel distressed at the beginning. As a concubine of the Prime Minister, she should have lived a stable life, but because of an accidental change of identity, she was involved in the disputes surrounded by powerful countries and foreign races. This sudden change is undoubtedly a huge challenge for her. But fortunately, she met Jun Biao, a strong backer. Jun Biao, the god of war of Xianming, is a powerful character just by hair in the name. At the beginning, he gave people the impression of being the kind of cold and arrogant god of war. But as the plot deepens, you will find that he actually has a warm side, especially for Han Ziking, that is really caring for her in every way, which makes people envy. What impressed me most about this drama is the process of the two people going through hardships. In order to uncover the mystery of Han Ziking's life experience and to find clues to return to their hometown, they had to face various challenges and dangers. In the process, the feelings between the two gradually warmed up, which was really sweet and abusive. Especially when the poison of Mosun led to the mystery of Han Ziking's life experience, the whole plot reached a climax. The ten volumes of piano score scattered across the continent became the key clues to return to their hometown, which made the two people's adventure journey more full of unknowns and expectations. They had to face all kinds of demons and difficulties, but they were able to work together to overcome difficulties every time, which was really touching. In addition to the main plot, the stories of the supporting characters in Liu Guangyin are also quite exciting. The characters played by Yao Qi, Hai Ling and others have their own storylines and emotional entanglements, making the whole plot more colorful. Moreover, the special effects and scene arrangements of this drama are also very attentive, which really makes people feel as if they are in the fantasy world. So, if you haven't watched the drama Liu Guangyin yet, I really strongly recommend you to watch it. Believe me, once you start watching, you will be unable to stop like me. It is also worth mentioning that while presenting love, the drama Liu Guangyin also does not forget to convey positive energy. Han Ziking and Jun Biao's persistence and courage in the face of difficulties, as well as their determination to kill demons in order to protect Long Guan's safety, all make people feel the power of justice and love. This power not only exists in the drama, but should also become the driving force in our real life. In short, the Yu Guangyin is really a TV series worth watching. If you are looking for a good drama to kill time or relax, the Yu Guangyin is definitely a good choice. Next news. Zhang Han's new drama Liu Guangyin has been launched. After watching four episodes, I want to say, this is how ancient idol drama should be shot. The summer season is coming to an end. If you ask who is the biggest winner at this stage, the audience may have different opinions. However, if you want to talk about the biggest loser, it is undoubtedly the costume drama. When the summer season just started, Yan Zinji and Zhu Huanian performed strongly at the beginning, but ended mediocrely in the end. The highly anticipated Changshi Yuang C2 failed to replicate the glory of the first season and the popularity was lower than expected. The response to see Hai Chong Ming, the Yu Joji and Chang Li was not significant. The costume dramas during this summer vacation are really mediocre. Is this summer season over? Of course not, the time for the revival of costume idol dramas has come. Tencent launched the TV series Liu Guangyin, which received a high score of 8.0 after four episodes were launched. This trend cannot be underestimated. After watching four episodes in one go, this drama has a tight rhythm, clear plot clues, and vivid characters. It is really the savior of costume idol dramas. I am looking forward to it. Across time and space, power struggles, the story has a tight rhythm. Li Guangyin tells the story of Han Ziking, played by Zhu Zudin, changing her identity to an accident. In order to find out her life experience, she used the help of the fourth prince Jun Biao, played by Zhang Han, 
and Jun Biyu also had his own purpose. Since then, Han Zikin and Jun Biyu have joined hands to fight against the conflict between powerful countries and alien races, jointly eliminate demons and evil spirits, and defend the peace of Longiran continent. In the main film of this drama, there are two highlights that immediately attracted my attention. Highlight 1, the weak concubine's daughter becomes a special forces soldier. The opening of this drama exudes an unusual atmosphere. It is clearly claimed to be a fantasy costume drama, but it presents a modern scene. In the play, Han Ziking found a dagger during the mission. When she pulled out the dagger, a dazzling light flashed, and she traveled the Longaran continent and became the concubine of the Han family. Although the concept of travel has existed for a long time, today's work still attract the love of many audiences. In the play, Han Ziking was initially framed by her sister. She first robbed the clothes of Mrs. Han's house on the street, and then slapped her sister twice in front of the Prime Minister's house, which truly embodied the spirit of revenge if there is a grudge. The play starts with a refreshing story of a weak and timid concubine's counterattack and revenge. The plot is quite attractive, and the background is quickly and clearly explained, and the main line is introduced, allowing the audience to integrate into the plot more quickly. Highlight 2, The Fierce Undercurrent of Power Struggle the combination of fantasy elements and power struggle strategies in this play is just right. In the play, the fourth prince Jun Biyu firmly chose the controversial Han Ziking when choosing a concubine, despite the opposition of everyone. In other plays, this is often called love at first sight, but in this play, Jun Biyu has other intentions. He was killed, but accidentally directed the disaster to Han Ziking, and she was unscathed. The king of Shiyank is wary, the queen and the second prince are eyeing him. Jun Biyu is in a precarious situation, and Han Ziking is forced to be involved in this power struggle. She seems to have become an important figure in turning the situation around. Therefore, power struggles play a finishing touch in this drama. The emotional development of Jun Biyu and Han Ziking in the play is also eye-catching. They have experienced many twists and turns from the initial mutual use to the gradual establishment of trust. It can be said that this drama combines classic elements of ancient costume idol drama such as time travel, power struggles, and love-hate entanglements, and the plot development is clear and orderly. Zhang Han once again starred in a costume drama, and the actor's strength is still outstanding. Judging from the development of the story in these episodes, although the cast lacks some popular in high traffic stars, their performances in the drama are very outstanding. The first is Zhang Han. After Gentlemen of East District 8 was withdrawn due to dissatisfaction among the audience, Zhang Han's reputation plummeted. Therefore, when he returned to the costume drama after many years, I couldn't help but feel a little worried. In the new drama, as soon as Jun Biyu, played by Zhang Han, appeared, his previous concerns immediately disappeared. He successfully degreased and wore black and gold gorgeous clothes. With his tall figure, people can feel a strong aura. In the play, he tried to confirm whether Hans Ehr had ever fought with him. He leaned forward slightly, locked his eyes on the other's expression, and released a strong sense of oppression, which made the audience hold their breath. Jun Biyu, played by Zhang Han, showed the aura and state he should have. I look forward to him reshaping his reputation with this role. The second place is Zhu Zudin. Her costume styling has always been quite outstanding, especially in Eternal Night Star River, where she played Mu Yao. The image in the Reuters clip alone has attracted widespread attention. In this new drama, Zhu Zudin not only has a brilliant styling, but also has admirable acting skills. In the play, Han Ziking walked as if there was wind under her feet. Whether standing or sitting, she showed a free and easy attitude, which complemented the setting of her crossing. In addition to her posture, her expression revealed a hint of disdain. In the play, when she heard her sister Han Zir set a trap from the side, Han Ziking just smiled wryly and then rolled her eyes. Han Ziking, a beautiful and chic character, really fits her perfectly. Third place, Ren Shi Heo. In Ice and Snow Ballad, Ren Shi Heo's villain Li Yinglian left a deep impression on the audience. In this new play, the exquisite Li Yinglian transformed into a bounty hunter Bailey Wisheng with a dirty face. As soon as he appeared in the play, people were dark in front of their eyes. The messy long hair and dark face made him look more like a street beggar than a bounty hunter. In the play, he is an employee sent by the Nans He a royal family to investigate Han Ziking. He is quick-witted and meticulous in observation. On the surface, he seems a little irrelevant, but when it comes to business, he seems very serious. Ren Shi Heo has made a significant breakthrough in this play, and his performance deserves everyone's attention. Fourth place is Guo Zing. 
Although this actor is not well known to everyone, her performance in the first few episodes is quite outstanding. In this new drama, she plays Hanzer, and gets a typical bad woman supporting role. Pretending to be sinister in front of Hans Eiking, her contemptuous eyes and complacent attitude fully show the appearance of a villain who has achieved success, and she immediately collapses after being ridiculed. Guo Zin performed the green tea characteristics of the character of Hanzer very well. In addition, the drama also includes actors such as Yao Qi and Heiling. The casting of the roles is very suitable, and the performances of the actors are also very good. The effect shown by this drama is very surprising. In recent years, costume idol dramas have mainly focused on power struggles, revenge, family struggles, business competition and fairy tales, while fantasy elements have become increasingly scarce. The audience is looking forward to a unique and fascinating fantasy costume drama, so the launch of Liu Guangyun is just in time. Although the scene settings, costumes, props and special effects in the play are slightly simple, the solid plot still attracts the audience. The drama has a brisk pace, and the identities, camps, and purposes of the characters can be clearly presented in a short period of time without any confusion. In the development of the plot, many foreshadowings are also cleverly laid, adding suspense to the subsequent plot. Therefore, although the drama as a whole has minor flaws, it does not affect its charm at all. As long as the subsequent plot can maintain this rhythm, the popularity will be further enhanced. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,